Hey, welcome to Free. I'm Geraldine, and in this motivational video, we're going to talk about daily English. How do you study English every day? Uh, let's say in the digital world, there are many websites that help you with your English, and many of them have this word of the day or phrase of the day, or even they send you newsletters, uh, or they send you the word of the day, or etc. That is a great way of studying English, little by little, studying something every day. What has happened to me is that sometimes I get bored and I stop looking at them after a while, which is not good for my English. So there's one way that doesn't bore me. That is when I can spontaneously see something in English and I see an opportunity to learn more English. Of course, I am still learning too, just like you. So um, this is today's motivational thought. If you don't like English or you think you don't have time to study or even don't find the time to spend two minutes uh, looking at the word of the day on your inbox, uh, what you can do is change that thought into knowing that English is around you all day long. English is around you all day long. And there are words that you already know and you don't even know you know them, <laughs> if that makes sense. There are words that you pronounce correctly and you don't uh, think you're speaking English or that you are reading English. So you do have that power in you. So don't say you are bad at English or that you don't like English. Maybe your favorite food is has a name in English. So I want you to find something good, <laughs> again, uh, for English. Later, I'm going to tell you that homework. The idea is that in your world, you see English and you are not afraid of it. And you don't see that word and say, oh, no, English, I am bad at it. You don't do that. So start discovering that and feel more confident about your English skills and how you can actually use English uh, because you already use English. So what is the idea? That you spontaneously um, uh, study English. How does this happen spontaneously? So at the moment I'm bored and there must be something around me that is in English and I'm not noticing it. I don't see it. So we're going to um, develop that skill of seeing more. We're going to develop the skill of paying attention. So while I was taking some notes about this video, I started doing that exercise. So I had my little book, uh, notebook in my hands and I started looking around and seeing what things I see in English. So for example, I was uh, sitting uh, it, next to me, I had my backpack and the brand was Nike. Well, it's not the real brand, but um, it, the name Nike was there. So the brand's in English. Uh, you can also read it, I'm sure. Uh, then I, oh, I had my pen in my hand. I don't have it right now, but my pen said friction, remove by friction. I'm just saying, you know, what <laughs> pen that is. So my pen had the name in English. And then in my little notebook, I also started looking at it. It's in Spanish, you know, the layout, but you had like personal information uh, in Spanish, but there was one part that said email on website. So I was very excited because email is in English and website is in English. And I'm sure that you would see it and you would say email also, and that's English and you are pronouncing it correctly. Then in my crazy notebook, even though it's in Spanish, here on every page it says date. <laughs> you see it? says date. So I guess it's Spanglish. And so I, I found 
something else. Then I had a body lotion also in my backpack and well, it was a gift. So it also was in English. It was body lotion, be joyful, she invited me, thank you to my cousin who gave it to me. And then I was doing my therapy and I had a machine next to me and it said tunneling. So there were lots, lots of words in English, a lot of phrases. Some of them I was familiar with and some of them I wasn't. But the idea of this exercise is not to, to learn the vocabulary uh, officially. It's just to know that you are in contact with English all the time and you are not afraid of that. Uh, on that same day, when I was on my way home, I also did some photographs of what was around me and also was in English, and I wanted to show them to you. So I was on my way and I saw this van, and it had, well, the name is not even in Spanish or English, I really don't know what language that is, it's just a name. But uh, look at this, Google Play and App Store. And we use this all the time and uh, it, they are in English, especially Play and Store, actually App also, no? App technically you can see it's also in English. It's my first example. Then I was using my cell phone and you know my, everything's in English in my cell phone, of course. And uh, I had a, uh, I was playing the game, you know how you, know, you watch videos, so the videos are in English. And they offered me a reward. <laughs> and they were advertising the King Kong mask, prices and quantity may vary, etc. They were advertising this place that also has a name in English, shopping makes fun, get free, etc. And again, App Store, look at that, App Store again. Um, and then I continued my trip and I saw another ad. And as you see, I live in a Spanish speaking country and you have this in Spanish. But what I care about was about this bottle, because you see it, at least here we see it, uh, what do you read? You say 7-Up, right? So this is English, 7 and up, 7-Up, everybody says that. And you are using English in our daily life. And what can you find in your daily life? This is what I found. I found some other things, but my speakers weren't as good as <laughs> so you can see that everything uh, has something in English and many of that is we are so familiar with that we don't even notice that we are speaking English, reading English uh, and sometimes writing English. So I want you to tell me in the comments uh, some things that are in English in your life and you don't realize that they are in English. You haven't noticed until now that they are in English and that you can pronounce them well and that you know the meaning of the word and that you can use it normally. Here I'll give you some examples so you have to think a little. Where could you find um, English words that you usually use and you don't realize? Maybe TV channels, uh, TV programs, um, Music, um, music genres, musical uh, singers, uh, songs in English, of course, or sometimes in other languages, and they also use English. Food, uh, I want you to think of, of the food that you eat and you say in English, or anything else that you can come up with, uh, maybe at work. There's something you work with, maybe a program, maybe something, a machine, and it's in English and Spanish at home, in the kitchen, everything. There are lots of things that are in English. So I want you to tell me uh, and start seeing that English is around you and you use it. So don't be afraid of it. The first step is this, paying attention, noticing that they are there and that they are good, that they are not going to hurt you, that they are not difficult, that they are not a headache. They are in English and they are good. And the next step would be taking notes of them and following step would be uh, looking for new words and definitions, but I'm not asking for that. I'm just asking you to notice that English is actually around you 
so you shouldn't be afraid of it. This could be your daily English. English is there and you, know, you already know some of it. So you can take advantage of that when you start learning some other new things. Please let me know what you find out. Uh, subscribe, please, comment, and see you soon. Thank you. Thank you for watching and see you soon.